Being known as a pillar of community means that within your town or within your area, you're known as an expert or almost a guru around all things related to hearing and better communication. And for the independent practice, that means that uh, people will seek you out for services related to all aspects of hearing loss and hearing care. People will find you, actively seek you out, and when that happens, you uh, spend less time and energy having to do uh, advertising uh, and other types of marketing activities. The first is the community in general, all of the people within the community that uh, rely on their hearing for communication. That includes just about anybody within the town or the area in which you live. Uh, the second uh, group would be primary uh, care physicians uh, because we know that primary care physicians are the gatekeepers in healthcare and uh, virtually all individuals over the age of 50 see their primary care physician for services and we also know that primary care physicians have a tendency not to talk about hearing loss and are not aware of some of the consequences of age-related hearing loss. So that's a huge untapped uh, area that we need to focus on. And the third audience would be patients within your own database. Uh, patients that you've seen over the last few years for services, we want to make sure that they're coming back to see you, that they're loyal to your practice, as well as uh, spreading positive word of mouth to other members of your community. There's a ton of emerging evidence around the link between hearing loss and dementia, hearing loss and cardiovascular disease, hearing loss and diabetes. It's important that you're educating the, the primary care physician audience. It's important that your Facebook and your social media tools have a, have a level of authenticity that resonates with the community. And then finally, uh, pillars of community uh, do an awful lot around the, in the public relations arena. Uh, they do things, charitable events, uh, open houses, uh, educational seminars. Uh, they donate hearing loops to large uh, group listening areas like uh, churches and community centers so that the entire community feels that uh, the people that do have hearing loss and might struggle a little bit are getting the effective help that they need. Unitron recognizes that practices around the country have a need to compete against all of these uh, competitive forces. And so uh, we're really building a lot of programs around the discipline of customer intimacy. We want independent practices to be the best and to be known as, and recognized as leaders around the value dimension of customer intimacy. And we believe there are five drivers of this customer intimacy imperative. And the first and maybe the most key driver is around pillar of community status. Unitron recognizes that the independent practitioner uh, ultimately provides the best overall compre most comprehensive care and we want to partner with them and we want to help them grow their business because we feel that that is the future of great hearing care is, and that's through the independent channel.